Hello, my beautiful souls. I am the Awakened Dreamer, and I'm here to give you a daily tarot reading for today, October the 21st. And I do want to, of course, take this moment to, as usual, thank all of my new and returning subscribers. Welcome, everybody. And if you haven't yet, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. And I more than appreciate all of your likes, shares, and comments. So head on down below and do just that. And I meditated on the collective's overall energy for the day. And the message that came through was dragging my feet. And I'm not surprised. Um, but I feel like today is going to be a productive day, even though we're dragging our feet. But, uh, but very slow at the same time. And I do feel like that has a lot to do with the fact that we're in the middle of uh, Mercury being in retrograde. Which I do feel like... We should speak upon briefly before we do begin with the cards. Uh, who is um, feeling the effects of Mercury and retrograde? I know I am. But, you know, it's a time when things slow down. And for some people, it may be a bit uncomfortable or, or a bit frustrating if you're used to or more comfortable with a fast pace. For me, that's not the issue. It's more so I lack motivation and emotions and issues start to resurface that I just you know, haven't dealt with previously. And so you may be experiencing a little bit of that. So it's just a time period. We have until I think the 3rd of November it ends, but then there's always that shadow period of two weeks before it begins and afterwards. So really, if you feel the effects during the shadow period too, which I typically do, we got about four weeks left of this. So, you know, Try and go with the flow when things feel a bit slower and you feel like you're struggling and lacking motivation. Don't try to force things. Just, you know, accomplish what you can. But it feels like a day when you're going to get it done still. Keep that in mind. But it's just not going to happen as fast as you want it to. But uh, with that said and done, let's get started. Uh, let's first pull a message or two from the spirit of the animal's oracle deck. Just bear with me, guys. It's also very difficult for me to even think during Mercury and retrograde. But what do we have for the collective for today to begin this daily read? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. First off, we have Dragonfly, my friend. Magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. It feels like as we each individually go through our own version of a transformation these days, <laughs> then we enter Mercury and retrograde and things start to slow down a bit. And part of that transformation, even though we don't may not love it uh, so much is, again, acknowledging and dealing with and confronting some of those issues or patterns or habits that do uh, resurface uh, during these couple of weeks. And uh, they're reminding you with this card how magical you are, even if it feels a bit difficult or if it feels like you're struggling in one way, shape or form, because it does affect uh, not only each of the 12 signs differently, but each individual differently. So just keep that in mind. But I love how it says I'm brilliant and I am blessed. Keep that in mind. Maybe a day where spirit comes in and the universe comes in and reminds you how magical you truly are. And then we have community, B. Let's reverse that, B, community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Ooh. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen or king of abundance. It's just a reminder that no matter how slowly you get things done today, no matter how um, of much of a struggle it does feel, just remember that whatever you do touch, whatever you do accomplish or uh, decide to pursue today or work on, you have that sort of magical, um, as it words it, uh, 
you bless everything you touch. And for some of you, it may be a day where you either continue or start to get your voice out in one way, shape, or form. Feel the need to say that. And if you think about And it's also a day where you may be reminded in one way, shape, or form of how much abundance you do truly have, even if you feel like you could have a lot more. Let's continue by pulling four tarot cards for the day. There goes my mind moving extra, extra slow. I feel like a snail, guys, so bear with me once again. Alrighty, two shuffles down. What do we have for today to continue? Thank you, Spirit. These cards are so easy to shuffle. Ooh, three major arcanas. They, I was being told that these should be on the bottom. Okay. The High Priestess for the first card. So, I mean, just right off the bat, the fact that we have three out of the four that are major arcanas today that speaks upon major, once again, transformation, which we were talking about, and uh, change. So, be patient with that. So, the High Priestess for the first card to start off the day. It feels like a day where you will, or the start of the day will feel like you are working on your craft or working on whatever skill sets you do have, whatever passions you have, maybe just simply your job, getting more in touch with your spiritual side for some of you, or simply um, getting more in touch with your higher self and your intuition. You, know, you can see this witch with her, her magic, um, her crystal ball, if you will. I feel like that's coming through as not only the spiritual side of things, but you just kind of trusting your gifts and trusting the magic within you. As you do slowly but surely get done what you need to. And I'm seeing here, I'm noticing this cat. I love this deck so far. You can see this black cat here as you're trying to stay calm and focused or the, you know, may not be too difficult to stay calm today but um as you're trying to stay you know focused and accomplish what you need to this cat is representing what i feel like some annoyances today you know maybe even this is representing mercury in retrograde in a sense you can see he's pushed over this bag of oh runes it looks like interesting and um and it just shows, it's just talking about um, how you may find that the day American retrograde or just simple other aspects of the day do make it more difficult or just um, kind of annoy you or it may, you know, come through as a bit of a distraction when you're trying to stay focused and stay calm and, and get all you can done, even though it's very difficult today. And it's side by side with the magic card absolutely love it because it's talking about how when you do stay focused when you stay centered and grounded when you're working towards or enhancing these skill sets you create nothing but magic beautiful and then to wrap up the first half of the day for the second card we have the seven of pentacles and as the day moves along your mind's going to be very much focused on your money and your work uh, which you know feels like a consistent feeling throughout the first half of the day but just a bit differently in this quarter, the second quarter. And, it, you know, you may not be loving what you're doing. You may not be loving the fact that you have a lot to accomplish today. Because I feel like Mercury being, Mercury, excuse me, being in retrograde has put us in a very, like I was saying at the very least, a, a non-motivational kind of um, a mindset where you're lacking motivation. But it, it feels like you don't have much of a choice but to plug away and work on whatever it is you need to accomplish today. And it may feel like you are working for less than you deserve for some of you. 
But Spirit's saying that will improve as time goes on. You just need to have patience with yourself in the process, as well as patience with the day itself, like I was saying. And another thing I'm noticing is we have this, uh, what looks like a glass of wine, you know, and we have the grapes and whatnot. And you may feel like today of all days, you need to treat yourself for all that you accomplished because it feels like more work than it actually is or normally would feel like. And to move right along to the second half of the day slash spread, we have the magician card. The second half of the day is gonna start with you in a very manifestation kind of mindset where you may, all of this, you know, working and thinking about the retrograde and everything will leave you in a spot where you will manifest your thoughts, whether they're negative or positive, my friend. So keep that in mind. Make sure you are thinking optimistically and positively about whatever you're working towards, about your future and whatnot. Don't allow yourself to drift to any sort of negative mindset. And it's aligned with the High Priestess. I feel like a lot of what you manifest will have to do with this skill set or will have to do with whatever you've been working towards. So again, you want to manifest it in the right direction, not negatively. And this cat now in this one is coming through as a universe in a sense. And, you know, when you're in this kind of mindset or when this card pops up in your spread or in a spread in general, the universe is paying attention to everything you're thinking and saying. So again, tread carefully when it comes to your thoughts and, and your feelings throughout the day, even though it's gonna be difficult. I'm just gonna say that. And it's side by side with the B community. And it, I'm being drawn to the you are a powerful creator part of this card. And it's truly talking about how that's how you're a powerful creator, not only in the work that you produce on a daily basis in general, but also as far as co-creating with spirit, as far as manifesting. You are a powerful creator and it just reiterates the power of your mind, my friend. Something to think about. And to finish off the day slash four card spread, we have the lovers. I feel like for a lot of you, the day ends with you falling back in love with what you're doing or doing something to sort of bring that that good feeling to the end of the day. It's what I love about this particular imagery and this lover's card is how um, even it is. You know, we have both sides are equally the same. And look at the cats with the with the heart in their tails. So freaking cute. And I just feel like maybe you fall back in love with where you're heading and what you're about to achieve. And I feel like part of which is you end the day feeling very proud of the way you dealt with everything up until that point. You, you're proud of being aligned with the Seven of Pentacles. You're proud of what you've accomplished as far as your finances go, as far as what you've manifested and as far as the amount of work you were able to accomplish, even though it was not easy. So it's, again, and it's aligned with, remember that, that glass of wine. And although that's just one form of, you know, a way that somebody could treat themselves, but it just feels like the end of the day will have some sort of treat, you know, you'll treat yourself in one way, shape or form for all that you have done and made your, your way through. Wonderful. So yeah, again, have patience with today as, you know, things move slowly and you try to get a lot done. Um, and don't be surprised when you do drag your feet a bit because it's just going to happen. It's just part of the feeling of the day. So with that said and done, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your situation. And um, I hope you have the most amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.